Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today I am playing Ultimate General Civil War. This is, I think, the fourth part in my live stream from the 17th, the first day the game came out, that I chopped up into multiple pieces and am posting, posting piecemeal on my channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at the Historical Battle of Bull Run as part of uh, our campaign game, Fighting as the Union. So, uh, if you watch this here, you'll see us fight the Battle of Bull Run from the Union perspective with our character, uh, uh, Thomas Hancock Grant, and we will attempt to win uh, where the Union historically lost. So, hope you guys tune in and enjoy, and uh, from here we'll just go back into the live stream audio, and uh, hopefully that's sufficient, but let me know what you guys think. And that has very, historically, some were really good, some were really bad. But I think we'll go ahead and we'll equip those. And can we get these guys a little bit better? No. These guys are already using the Palmetto, though, right? So we've got some guys are using an upgraded 1842, and we've got some guys using a Lorenz rifled musket. Imported from uh, Austria, it does, according to this, has a slow reload rate, but it's actually, some people compared it to the Enfield of Austria. Um, saying it was almost as good as like British, the British Enfield. Uh, I don't think that's true, but you know, depending on whether they were surplus weapons or whether they were actual, you know, real, real world weapons, um, they had very different quality uh, levels. Whether they're new production runs or, or pre-existing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to fight the Battle of First Bull Run. It's a grand battle, 21 of July 1861. The Confederate Army of PGT Boulder Guard is deployed along Bull Run River to guard Manassas Railroad Junction. Uh, from the other side of the river. Brigadier General Irvin McDowell is seeking for a weak point to attack. Your forces will join McDowell and help to turn him to turn initiate an attack on the left flank of the Confederate Army. So victory, defeat, draw, different levels of uh, money and manpower rewards, as well as influence. We lose 20 influence if we lose. Holy crap, that's a lot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, play the fight. I'm just going to grab the chat real quick, see what you guys are saying, and then we'll actually go. Guys debating whether I should have more troops or whether keep some of those to replace losses. Um, the nice thing is, even if I lose, I get 12,000 more men. So it should be fine replacing manpower because I've only got like 4,500. Um, but I will keep them for now, um, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're going to join the attack on the left flank. You can see here the Confederates have their historical defensive positions along the river and the Stone Bridge. The Union launched a flank attack around uh, the Confederate left flank, the Union right, and uh, attempted outflank and fought General Stonewall Jackson, General B, many other tr units, I think somewhere around here, around Henry House Hill, where the historic, uh, there stands Jackson standing like a stone wall occurred. Several miles east, the Confederate Army PGT Boulder Guard has deployed along Bull Run River to guard Manassas Railroad Junction from the other side of the river. Brigadier General Irvin McDowell is leading the Union Army and is seeking a weak point to attack. The Confederate Army is stretched out to defend all possible river passages. Their left flank is vulnerable, and this is where the bulk of the Union Army is going to attack. At first, you're going to lead some of McDowell's troops in a decoy action at the Stone Bridge with the intention to hide the primary flank maneuver through Sudley Ford. Next, your army will... Your army and the main force of McDowell will execute a powerful attack from the west. The main objective is to surprise and quickly overwhelm Bouldergaard's left flank before Joseph E. Johnson's army of the Shenandoah reinforces him. Uh, Bull Run was one of the initial uses of railroads uh, in, the, in, in the Civil War. Okay. The rebels are guarding Manassas Railroad Junction with strong forces a few miles eastward of this location. Okay. Bull Run River is defended by several Confederate brigades and is risky to pass. It's advised to initiate a fank at the bridge with a small amount of regiments. Man, the maps are beautiful here, aren't they? Our main force can pass the river from this section and attack the left flank of the Confederate army. If we act fast, the rebels will have no time to reinforce the area so we can easily sweep them off the field. <laughs> easily. We'll see. Move eastwards to deal with the final blow. We can end the war today. General, good luck. Okay. Some rebel regiments are guarding the area, so we need to be cautious. Didn't I just see this? About an hour, our divisions will be ready to launch full scale attack on their flank. OK, 
Okay, it doesn't look like we get to deploy our troops. So these are AONV, Army of Northern Virginia. Actually, I do think that's true. Weren't, weren't they called the Army of Northern Virginia? Okay, so these are all non-core units. So we can, I guess the objective is to capture. Are there alternate ways to cross? Can we cross up here? There you go. We'll leave the artillery south and we'll leave one brigade, the 2nd Ohio, here. Not sure how far forward the artillery has to go. Didn't I tell two guys to go north? Okay, so we're going to move these guys north and around. Hopefully to flank the enemy here and take the bridge. See here, I assume this represents ours, so 50... This is a long, long battle, it looks like. Um, these are artillery, right? Yeah, they are. Okay. So, hopefully this one brigade's enough to pin these rebels behind their works, and then we can swing in around them and uh, take the stone bridge. I'm a fan of the combat mission series. I haven't played it a lot recently, uh, but the original combat is mission is one of my kind of all-time favorites. Oh, where are they getting shot from? Looks like they're getting hit from artillery from somewhere. Four deaths. Okay, so just a few casualties. Nothing too much to be worried about. Not much of a morale hit. We don't have any commanders yet, though, so it's interesting. Can we take cover behind, like, this tree? It's really going to put us in a disadvantaged position, but... Holy cow. So quite a few enemy are up here resisting our flanking maneuver. So this may not last long. <laughs> They just charge the Ohio into a charge, and they're fighting in the middle of the river. Well, that's the best, uh... That was weird. I don't know if I hit the max stream time before it cuts out. Sorry about that. Alright, guys. You should, uh, you should see the stream back. Sorry about that. I think I might have hit the maximum time you can stream. Or something like that through OBS without it reconnecting. So, oh, the Ohio's dying. They're probably going to end up surrendering, would be my guess. Just look at them melting away. Colonel Alexander McCook is killed. I'm assuming he's commanding this unit. I'm not quite sure who's where. This battle is going to be rough. Ooh, good lord. Melee him to death! Destroy these Confederate cavalry. There you go. Our cavalry can cross on the river undetected. Do we have cavalry? Cross the river undetected? How? There's a whole bunch of enemy there. What are you talking about? Are these guys in some cover? A little bit, not much. So these guys were just supposed to pin this brigade until we could move around the flank, but it doesn't look like it's going to go quite that way. Both these units are... I can't do anything with. Can we, like, cross further up river? No? Damn. Okay, so we've got some troops up here now. So I guess the move down toward this Henry Hill, I think it is. I got a bad feeling this is going to end up being a disastrous battle. They shouldn't be running, though, right? How about you not 
go way up there all by yourself, Mr. Me. Okay, let's try engaging these guys again, maybe a little bit more sensibly. Not charging into a hornet's nest. And there goes the cavalry scouts. They're routed for good. You know, this brigade is suffering and doing jack shit against the enemy, and they're routed now. Good to know. These guns doing anything? A little bit, not much. These guys aren't behind anything crazy, like, defensive-wise, right? Like, why are they not losing any men? So, I've kind of gone up on my own, I guess, and started scouting the enemy. Why are you guys running? Sure hope you're not running. You gotta arrive with energy to fight, right? Be nice if they marched, like, on the roads a little bit more so. Alright. Man, they're doing nothing. What weapons do they have? Well, that's, that's fitting. They've got short range weapons. Yeah, I can't shoot the deserters. Barstow's brigade spotted. Move to defend Matthews Hill. Okay, so Barstow's moving forward. That's great. Alright. B's brigade's guarding Matthews Hill. So, at least two enemy brigades. We'll try and whittle them down a little bit with our skirmishers here in the open. Although there's Confederate artillery there, that could be a challenge. probably foolish to try and charge them, but why the hell not, right? I'm not using this artillery very effectively either. I'm going to move these guns north. Maybe they can do some good up here, assuming that these guys don't all die in the charge, which they probably will. Yep. Good lord. Looks like they're kind of hanging out on the reverse slope. Our troops are still coming up. Oh god. Our skirmishers are dying. Yeah. They're gonna run away. But if we can do something to reduce their artillery a little bit, that might help. Okay, so two new two new brigades are coming up. Alright, that'll, that'll help. Just gotta get them down into position. I am not using these skirmishers effectively. Mainly the second Ohio is just going to stay down here and make sure the enemy doesn't cross the bridge without us doing something. These guys are dead. I mean, there's, there's, there's nothing left that they can really do. I'm just hoping I can get this artillery across the river. Maybe I can fire into the flank of these South Carolina men and do some damage. Howard's brigade will now support the attack. Okay, so we're kind of coming up in, in piecemeal, which is going to make this attack being successful difficult. Whoa, artillery, get the fuck back. What are you doing? Man, those skirmishers took some pretty heavy heavy damage. I think I'm going to move the skirmishers out around. We'll try and form this brigade up here. This brigade here. Alright, I'm going to try and come in. I'll do it like this. We'll move the skirmishers over here to kind of protect the flank. 
I don't know who George Tompkin is. Okay, so both the officers in command of these brigades are dead. Barstow's brigades moved from Henry's Hill over to the Ford, interestingly enough. That might actually be preferable. At least he's being pulled away from the hill. Okay. So the skirmishers move up here. These guys go here. These guys go here. I don't like that my troops are leading the attack, because they're going to take all the casualties. Okay, Hancock, get up there. Don't be a little pansy and stay in the back. And I'm more than happy to have the enemy waste their canister fire on my, uh, on my skirmishers, frankly. I didn't quite coordinate this line quite perfectly, but... Yeah, keep wasting your canister fire on my uh, my skirmishers. That's fine. All right, you guys are gonna run. Where are the enemy infantry? Did they pull off Henry Hill to go deal with with my men over here? Because frankly, if that's true. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Oh, that brigade routed. Well, we're not going to take the stone, the stone bridge. Nice. We're driving them back. Give them the cold steel. Okay. Oh no, our men are routing. So we drove back one of these guys. Alright. Lieutenant Rodney Mason is killed. Lieutenant Colonel Rodney Mason. Uh, not one of my guys, so I don't really care. Alright, these guys, you guys need to come up quick. I know I didn't want to run you, but frankly the fact that the enemy is pulling back, we need to take advantage of that. Shit. Come on, Dilger. Stop running. Get back up here. No! We secured the hill, folks. You gotta get up here quick. Take advantage of this. We have the momentum. Push her back. Stop dying, you cowards. A real patriot stays alive. Confederates captured the hill back. No! Alright, Dilgo, you're going to go around here. Maybe we can flank them. John Carlisle. I think all these wounded... <laughs> they're all over here. Oh, Sherman. W.T. Sherman. There you go. Push in on Barstow. Looks like they drove those batteries of artillery back, but we got some reinforcements over here. So we're not going to take Stone Bridge. I didn't think the... Um, I didn't think the Confederates, or the Union, had much of an effort on Stonebridge. I thought it really was just a demonstration. You can see Boulder Guard is stationed over there. So we're moving forward again. I'm just not sure where all these bad guys are that are... Okay, so we secured the hill. And we gotta, you know, defend it. Ooh, our skirmishers are going after Imboden's, uh battery here. Let's bring our battery up, actually. Bring church up. 
I'm going to try and bring Howard up. We're leaving half our unit back. So we've done quite a bit of damage to their guns. They were much stronger, and the fact that they're largely impotent, I'd like to finish off. So Franklin can go charge him. Meanwhile, B's sitting in the woods, but we do have the high ground, so assuming the high ground counts for something. So we've captured Matthews Hill. We're not going to capture the stone bridge. There's just no, no effing way. It's too, too far away. Don't have time. I'm assuming Jackson's going to come up at some point. We'll have to defend our, our recently taken objectives. Bringing Griffin's artillery up here. I need to upgrade those guns. Okay. So I don't think... I mean, we've got a lot of men in place. Unless the enemy hits us with something quick and fast, I think we can definitely say that we'll hold, hold the hill. We do have some troops we're not utilizing over here by the stone bridge. Maybe we can push... On the, on the bridge, just charge it frontally. Alright, Sherman, don't die like the rest of them. Oh, boy. I did a horrible job south of the bridge, by the way. I think we can all admit that this was a miserable job by me. But in the fortunate side, we've definitely done well on this hill. I guess we can try and, and pursue. Maybe we can get there in time, I don't know. I don't want to overextend though either, that's the other thing. Every time I see Thomas Hancock Grant, I keep thinking, uh, you know, Hancock the Great for whatever reason. Ooh. Sherman fighting, fighting like a devil. We'll do a double charge here. Just go on and try and mob them over this wall. I'm not sure it'll work. Their first volley looked pretty ineffective, though, so that's nice. Let's see if we can take this, this place, too. Charging into the meat grinder. I feel like every battle with the river is going to turn into Burnside's Bridge. Look at that foul. They all fired a volley and killed like two guys. Stupid entrenchments. I'm assuming by trying to charge through our, you know, earthworks that won't work very well. I'm guessing it wouldn't be quite this easy. Taking, taking Henry Hill should not have been easy. Where's Jackson? Seriously. We secured Stone Bridge! So now we gotta hold it for, what, eight minutes? But the battle only lasts two more, so... It's contested. It would be nice... Sherman is dying like like none other. Well, he's occupying those two brigades, so he's... He's doing his job. The rebels withdraw to Henry Hill. We just took Henry Hill. General, we outnumber the enemy and we must keep pushing forward. Oh, this is the early phase of the battle. Damn, and here I was thinking that I just won the battle of second bull run. Or, first bull run. Alright, that's going to do it for the first part of my Let's Play uh, live stream of the Battle of Bull Run. In that first portion, we just took Matthews Hill and assaulted Stone's uh, Bridge. Uh, but the second part of the battle, the oh-so-decisive part of the battle, will come next. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.